welcome to Mind Your A quick tip, by knowing when to use a comma, you know when not to use a comma. Let's start with separating elements. It is important to separate elements or ideas in a sentence with a comma. If there are only two elements in a sentence, however, a comma is not necessary. Let's read the first example. I enjoy playing music and knitting. Note that there are no natural pauses in the sentence and there are only two elements, music and knitting. Therefore, this sentence does not require a comma. The next example has three elements. I enjoy playing music, knitting, and walking. Notice the short pause between each element including the one before the coordinating conjunction and. A comma is inserted between each element to indicate each pause. The same rule applies for four or more elements or ideas in one sentence. Make sure to place a comma after each one. An interrupter is a phrase or clause in the middle of a sentence that is not vital to the rest of the sentence. An interrupter simply gives the reader additional information. A comma is always placed before and after an interrupter. My book bag was far too heavy. As you can see, there is not an interrupter in this sentence. However, to give the reader the additional information that explains the heaviness of the book bag without adding another sentence, we can add an interrupter. For example, my book bag, which must have weighed at least 15 pounds, was far too heavy. The addition of the interrupter took a simple sentence and turned it into a more complex sentence that offers much more detail. Take note of the comma inserted directly before and after the interrupter. An introductory phrase provides background information, or as its name suggests, introduces the rest of the sentence. Let's look at the example sentence. After watching this video, you will become much more confident with your comma skills. The introductory phrase, after watching this video, has a comma placed directly after it, as all introductory phrases do. Take note that the rest of the sentence can stand on its own without the introductory phrase. The introductory phrase is not essential to the completion of a sentence. Introductory words provide a link or continuity between sentences. Let's look at the example. Furthermore, your interest in other punctuation may increase. The introductory word, furthermore, links or connects the previous sentence to this sentence. Observe the pause after the introductory word and the comma inserted at the pause. Other examples of frequently used introductory words include additionally, therefore, however, hence, nonetheless, and many, many more. Using commas with names is sometimes required, but not always. Let's start with this example. Millicent is reading the paper. This sentence does not require a comma. There is no pause in this sentence. It is a straightforward and declarative sentence. Let's move on to the next examples. Please take note that I will exaggerate the pauses in the following examples for the benefit of this learning activity. Millicent, have you seen today's paper? Notice the pause and consequently the comma after Millicent. Let's look at another example. Have you seen today's paper, Millicent? 
This time, the pause and comma are directly before Millicent. Finally, the last example. Have you finished, Millicent, reading the paper? This time, Millicent is placed in the middle of the sentence with both pauses and commas placed directly before and after it. What these examples tell us is that when you are speaking to someone directly, a comma is placed before or after their name or both, depending upon the location of the name in the sentence. When writing out a date, it is important to know where a comma is placed within the date. If one is writing out a date in month, day, and year format, the comma is placed after the day, such as in the provided example. If one is writing out the day of the week, followed by the month and the day, a comma is placed after the day of the week. If, however, one writes out the day, followed by the month, and then the year, there is no comma.